hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Tamara of Tamara fashion style if this is your first time here welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back now guys I know you guys didn't see me for a long time and indeed I miss you guys I miss my channel now the reason why I wasn't on my channel for a little while I was on a trip and then when I returned I leave with the coal I came back with the coal and I end up getting sicker so I don't know if it was COVID or what but when I came back I end up getting sick I end up um, um, high cholesterol high um, sugar blood pressure everything raised when I come back off the trip I'm still not a hundred percent but at least I came a long way from where I was I didn't feel in good at all at all at all so I had to go to the doctor and I had to get some antibiotics some vitamin C tablets um, all kind of tablet they had to give me but they give me um, a lot of antibiotic to fight off whatever was it and then when they check they see my cholesterol raise my sugar um, raise both the cholesterol raise right so I had to ease off certain things that I was eating so that's why you didn't see me a long time on my channel so now guys I am happy to be back here and today I this is the new year and 2020 on my channel I'll be stepping it up now last year we did a lot of drafting in between so this year I want to focus more on the drafting pants skirt whatever so the first class for this year is we're gonna start with we're gonna start with the pants pattern the reason why we are starting with the pants pattern because on my channel we have a lot of top we have a lot of skirt we have a lot of different thing i think on my channel i even show you how to draft uh um leggings so in this episode for this um starting of my um, for the new year we're gonna focus more on the pants pattern now the pants pattern we are drafting is a trouser pants now we will draft the the slack pants and you can use that um pattern to go into any design you need now the pattern we are starting with what i'm going to start you off with because remember if you don't know anything about drafting and you are a beginner you don't want to cloud your mind with too much so what i'm going to do i'm going to start you off with the front of the pattern now the reason why i'm starting you off with the front of the pattern is because the front of the pattern it's easy and it would give you an idea how to draft to get your basic line out right to get your basic foundation now drafting the pants you have to get some measurement now the tools you will need to draft the front of these pants you would need and just get a pen and write down what we would need because when I do in the pants, I wouldn't go over back all what you would need. So get a pen and paper and you and write down everything that I'm saying that you will need for drafting this pants. Because our next class, we would be drafting the front of the pants. We will draft the front of the pants in one class and then in the next class, we will draft the back of the pants. I won't be drafting the back of the pants in the same in the one class we would do a two-part drafting you would have the first part which is the front of the pants and then we will go to the second part which is the back of the pants the reason why I splitting it in two is because I don't want to cloud your mind with too much information at the same time because clouding one mind with too much information at the same time you wouldn't get it wouldn't stick in your head 
So let's focus more on the front of the pants. So all the measurement that I'm giving you, it will do for the front and it will do for the back. But we are more focusing, we are more drafting the front of the pants. So what you will need for draft this pants pattern, we are drafting a basic pants. When we finish drafting the front and the back of the pants, then we will go ahead and we will add our seam allowance. We will add our um, hem allowance. We will add all that we need, right? We will add our zipper fly and everything. But for now, we will only focus on the basic of the pants block. So we won't add any seam allowance to this block right at this point. So what you will need, get a pen and a paper. You would need some drafting paper. The reason why we are using drafting paper is because you can copy your pants and if it didn't fit you properly, paper is not too expensive. But doing it on the fabric, when you don't cut the fabric, there is nothing you can do about it. So drafting on the paper is a way cheaper way and better. You can get any paper. You can get um, drafting paper, you can get printing sheet and stick them together. You can get old newspaper, you can get um, gift wrap paper, any paper you can get to do your drafting, put them together, whatever old paper you have, you can do your drafting on. You can even do if you have some old vanillin, right? We call it linoleum. You can do vanillin. You can get a chop, draft it out, and then you cut it out to suit. So what you will need for this is some paper. Now the paper that I am using is 24 by 30, 40 inches. Now the paper that I have is a big um, sheet, a big roll of paper I have. So I'll be using that from that paper so what I would do I would cut a piece of that paper the paper already on the roll is 24 by 200 and something inches now I would roll out a piece of paper that measure 40 inches because my um, pants would be 39 inches so I would roll out a piece of that paper 40 inches because I have an extra inch so you will need a piece of paper, depends on the length of your pants. If you can make your pants farty, you can make it whatever. But I am a short person, so my finished pants length would be 39 inches. I still have to add some hem allowance to that. We will we'll get to that when the time reach. But I need however long you want your pants to be. Measure out the paper, cut it out. So when you get that paper, now what you're gonna need you're gonna need a straight rule or a l curve rule right you're gonna get that write down all what i am telling you here to get you're gonna need the paper however long you want the paper and the width of the pants if your hip when you divide it is 40 you need is 10 you need a paper like 12 inches 24 to 30 inches wide so you will need that paper, you will need a straight rule or a L-shaped ruler. In my um, drafting, I'll be using my straight rule and my small triangle ruler. You would need a pen, a marker, or a pencil. For beginners who drafting, who never draft, I would encourage you to draft with pencil. Because drafting with a pencil, you can remove the um, you can remove the eraser from. You can erase if you make a mistake. But doing it with a pen or a marker, you would mess up your whole paper, and you don't want your paper or your draft to look messy. So a pencil, a marker, or a pen. For beginners, use the pen and get a erase at the side of you with a sharp now next what you will need you will need a measuring tape get your measuring tape you would need a calculator or you can use your phone because you need to calculate your measurement next what you would need you would need your waist measurement 
Now, your waist measurement is important for this pants. So you would need your waist measurement. So write that down. So you would need your waist measurement. Now, the full circumference of your waist, you would need to draft this pants. So when you get your full circumference of your waist, you're going to divide that waist measurement by four and whatever is the remaining measurement you're gonna write that down and you're gonna add three centimeter to that or one and a half inches to that measurement if you are using centimeter you will add three centimeter if you are using inches you will add one inches that would be the waist measurement so let's say your waist is 36 inches you would divide 36 by 4. The remaining measurement, you write it down and you add 3 centimeter, three and a half centimeter to that. Or if you're using inches, you add one and a half inches. Now the three centimeter or the one and a half inches you'll be adding, that will take care of the dart and the ease for the waist. Right? We will get to that when we draft drafting the pattern. Now then you would measure around the fullest part of your hip circumference. Now the fullest part of your hip circumference, it could be, depends upon how short you are or how tall you are. So it could be 8 inches, it could be 7 inches. So you're going to measure from your waist to your hip bone wherever your hip or your hip bone is the thickest fat meatiest part of your hip or the highest part of your butt so my own is from my waist to my hip measurement is nine inches because i think i have a large butt so it depends upon you you one could be 11 you one could be 13 you one could be seven your one could be six now when you get that measurement you're gonna write that hip measurement down you're going to divide it by four, write the remaining measurement, and you're going to add half inch to that measurement. That would be for the ease. If you don't want too much ease, you're going to add quarter inch to that measurement. Now remember, you don't want to drop this pants to your full body measurement, to your, 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 your bare body measurement, because you want ease, you'd be able to sit and move, right? The best way I would advise people to take the waist measurement is sitting down. Your hip measurement is sitting down. Your leg measurement is sitting down. You get more room, you get more ease. So when you sit down, your pants won't look too tight. So after you measure the hip measurement, you divide that by four. You add either quarter inch or half inches to that, right? Or if you're using centimeter, you add one centimeter to it. It's up to you whichever if it's inches or centimeter you are using next you're gonna measure the crotch depth of your pants from your waist to your crotch now that measurement most time you would hear other tailor or seamstress or so would say in the body rise measurement now the body rise measurement is your crotch measurement the crotch depth so you would sit on a chair and you would measure from your waist to the seat of the chair so that is what you call the crotch measurement it would call the body rise measurement now in some case that measurement could be like three inches from the hip measurement right so let's say your hip is nine inches your um body rise measurement or your crotch measurement could be 12 inches. Sometimes it could be 11 inches. Sometimes it could be 10 inches. It depends from the measurement you get from your waist to your hip. After you get the body rise measurement or the crotch measurement, you're going to write that down. Right? My body rise measurement is 12 and a half inches from my waist to my the bottom, the, for the top, the seat. From my waist to the seat, the, to the chair that I am sitting on, is 12 and a half inches. So I would measure from my waist right down to wherever the 12 and a half inches drop, and I would make a mark. So that would be 
either my crotch measurement, my crotch depth, or my body rise measurement. Whichever one you want to use, whichever one would be more suitable for you, you can use that. So you write that measurement. We are not dividing that. We're writing it down. The next measurement you will need is from your waist to your hip. So when you measure, not your waist to your hip, sorry, the next measurement you will need after the body rise measurement or after the crotch depth measurement, you would need from your waist to your knee. Now your waist to your knee normally does be 23 inches. My waist to my knee is 23 inches. So from your waist to your knee, you can write that measurement down. We're not dividing that. We're only dividing the waist measurement, the hip measurement. That's the only two measurements we would be dividing. Next, you would need, after the waist to your knee, you would need your waist to the length of your pants. My length of my pants is 39 inches. That is my finished measurement. I would have to add him allowance to that, which I would add like 2 inches or 4 centimeters to that measurement when the time reach. So from the waist to the length of your pants, that is what you will need. Alright? You would need that measurement. So write that down, what you would need. And then, when we finish, make sure you gather your paper. Make sure you gather everything. And we would get into the drafting. So the information that I am giving you here today, make sure if you want to be in the classes to draft in this pants because that is the next video would be coming out soon after this one here so grab your tools i'm giving you some time before i put that video out you would see the video out but i will put it give it some time so that you can grab your tools so that when the classes start you would have everything all right Remember, you need a calculator or you need a phone. Because we need to calculate these measurements. Okay? We need to calculate these measurements. So grab your tools together and grab everything together. And let's begin this drafting. And I'll see you in the next class with the front of the pattern. And remember, we in this classes, we will only be drafting the front of the pants. In the other class, we will draft the back of the pants because the back of the pants have to extend more than the front of the pants. The back crotch will be more deep than the front of so We have butt and the back of the pants crotch just be more steep than the front. So grab your tools and get them together. So when this class is come out, you would be the first to be notified. So don't forget share the information to other subscriber or if you have a friend share it on your social media whatever social media you have share this channel so they can benefit as well all who want to learn to draft pants the easy way i will show you how to draft that pants very easy some people make it complicated but it's not that difficult it could be hard for the force if you are a beginner it's going to be very hard but it won't be that complicated so grab your tools get them together and let's get started okay so i will see you in class bye bye and enjoy and have a wonderful day